Dear scholars, we have been learning a lesson. 3.3 a crow in the house. Through the previous two videos, we have come to know about the crow which was <clears throat> young and fallen from the nest, which was brought to home by the author, his grandfather, and he himself. Both of them took care of him, <clears throat> and so the crow came to recovery he was named as caesar but he was troubling everyone in the house besides that we came to know that uh, how caesar or that crow learned to speak the words like hello hello and kiss kiss so that that much we have seen through the previous two videos let us see the remaining part of the lesson here i begin with the sentence pet or pest grandfather pet or pest grandmother insisted that caesar was a pest in spite of his engaging habits so <clears throat> the crow was ruin of that house it was said by author's grandmother because the crow had taken the administration of the house he was troubling everyone in that house let us see pet or pest grandmother insisted that caesar was a pest in spite of his engaging habits the word engaging means attractive the crow had some attractive habits even though he is he was called as pest by the grandmother of author if he had restricted his activities to our own house it would not have been so bad but he took to visiting neighboring houses and stealing pens and pencils hair ribbons combs keys shuttlecocks toothbrushes and false teeth so he had taken the administration of the house troubling one and all in that house but moreover his naughtiness increased and what he did he started stealing which things pens pencils hair ribbons combs keys shuttlecocks toothbrushes and false teeth fr from where that is from neighboring houses so this is this is the sentence which shows us that the crow that caesar started troubling other people beside the family members of author author he was especially fond of toothbrushes and made a collection of them on the top of the cupboard in my room whose room that is author's room he that caesar made a collection of toothbrushes where on the top of the cupboard in my house so here my stands for author that is author's house what is further most of the neighbors were represented in our house by a toothbrush toothbrush sales went up that year so did grandmother's blood pressure and as the author was stealing the toothbrushes many of the uh, neighbors represented in author's house by that toothbrush because of toothbrush and because of caesar the sale of toothbrush had increased that year in the same way grandmother's blood pressure also because whoever neighbor coming to complain that complain was increasing blood pressure of author's grandmother next paragraph caesar spied on uh, he didn't stop till this activity further what he did caesar spied on children going into the banyas shop and often managed to snatch sweets from them as they came out so he was troubling author's family member again neighbors moreover he started snatching sweets from the hands of children who were going to banyas shop cloth cloth pegs fascinated him neighbors would return from the bazaar 
to find their washing lying in the mud and no sign of the pigs these two found their wear to the top of my cupboard so besides stealing toothbrushes and all that he started stealing clothes pigs what do we call chimte kapdanna lavayche walat astana lavayche so here caesar started stealing those pigs also and because of that the clothes of people wear there in the mud many times he stored those cloth pegs on the cupboard on the top of the cupboard in author's room next paragraph <coughs> it was caesar's gardening activities that finally led to disaster because of these all bad habits there was a disaster something bad very bad happened what is that let us see he was helping himself to our neighbor's beans when a stick was flung at him breaking his leg so when he was enjoying the beans of neighbors that is neighbor's beans one of the stick was flung at him that neighbor threw the stick to him and because of that the leg of caesar or that crow was broken i carried the unfortunate bird home and grandfather and i washed and bandaged his leg as best we could this is the sentence again shows that how author and his grandfather were animal lovers bird lovers so what they did <coughs> they washed that injury and bandaged his legs leg <coughs> but it could not mend but that injury could not mend that is he couldn't recovered caesar hung his head no longer talked he grew weaker day by day refusing to eat <clears throat> and because of his illness he was refusing to eat and so he became weaker grew grew weaker or became weaker day by day an occasional sip <clears throat> of grandmother's homemade wine was all that kept him going and only grandmother's homemade plum wine was the main uh, medicine which was keeping him alive that is that kept him going one morning i found him dead on the sofa who found it that is author that <coughs> crow was dead his legs stiffed in the uh, stiff in the air poor caesar <coughs> his anti social habits had led to his early end see here the word anti social is mentioned that is opposite to social whatever bad habits caesar had they all were anti social and because of his bad habits only uh, he put an end to his life i dug a shallow grave in the garden and buried him there <coughs> along with all the toothbrushes and clothes clothes pegs he had taken so much trouble to collect so again this passage shows that how author love that caesar or that crow so because of his bad habits only that caesar could not live longer so one must not have bad habits or anti social habits it is the message of this lesson the lesson or the story is written by ruskin bond uh, it is taken or derived from uh, grandfather's private zoo actually it is the uh, novel grandfather's private zoo out of this this short passage or short story has been derived i hope you all would understand the given explanation 